Hello, and welcome to Let's Make a Top-Down Shooter. This video is about adding a gas-based enemy which can take damage and destroy itself when the health reaches zero. First off though, a minor correction to the previous video on shot count and shot spread in the init weapon set gameplay effect. I accidentally left the modifier op as add when it should have been override. So for our new enemy character, the first thing we do is add a class. It will be a character type. Call this tedious enemy character. And as usual, that will build. We wait for that to fully complete. Close the editor, wait for the red bar to go away, and we can hit reload. All right, so I'm just gonna replace the entire file. Start at the top. So we need to include the ability system interface, uh, the gameplay ability spec as well for uh, the F on attribute change data. Um, and in this enemy character, we're adding the ability system component directly. Previously, this we, we put this in the player state for this uh, playlist. But there's no player state for enemy characters, so it's going in here directly. It needs the health set, and eventually we will add support for the weapons of it. The interface requires us to include the get ability system component. So we do that, it just returns the ability system component. We're going to use the same initialize abilities and effects, default abilities and effects, on health and shield change functions. And finally, we add the post initialize components for the enemy character to initialize the uh, ability system component. Similarly, I'm going to replace all this. We will not be calling setup player input component because we don't need to bind functionality to input. Similarly, we needed to include the ability system component header, the attribute set headers, and the gameplay ability header. So first thing in the constructor is that we create the ability system component and the attribute sets. In begin play, we're setting up a delegate for both the health and shield attributes. They're just going to call these two functions. Those two functions will then call the blueprint version so that we can get that update in blueprints. Uh, initialize abilities and effects works the same as the player character. We're iterating through the array and just calling give ability on the abilities and apply gameplay effect spec to self for the effects. Post initialize components, much like the similar functionality in the character, will call the ability system components init ability actor info and initialize the effects and attributes. Lastly, we will build that. Launch the editor. So in here, I'm going to create a, another new folder for enemies. I'm going to create a blueprint class of type TDS enemy character. We're just going to call this BP enemy character for now. Inside here, we first want to set up the mesh. We're going to use many. We'll use the simple one, as the player character uses Quin simple. This needs to come down 90 and turn negative 90 or 270. And then we also need the uh, anim class, which will just be ABP many. In the event graph, we're going to actually copy from destructible. So 
So this will be with the ability system component. As usual, we're using uh, makeout going spec on our init health set gameplay effect. We're going to set the health to 50, the shield to 20. We're going to leave shield regen and delay as zero and make sure we hook up, hook up ability system component here. And then so that we can see that it's actually taking damage, we'll have our on health and on shield changed functions, events. First of all, if the value of the health is less than or equal to zero, we'll be click. We can just call destroy actor. So when it loses all its health, it will just destroy itself. Otherwise, we're going to call a print string. From the ability system component, I'm going to call get gameplay attribute value for the health and the shield. And this will both be when shield or health tick damage. First, I need to add the enemy to the level. Just throw one back here. All right, so now when I hit it, you can see that it was at 50 and 20. It took 10 shield damage, another 10, take some health damage, and finally it destroys itself. You can also test the other weapons. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. And if you'd like to support this channel, or just want to download the project files, you can do so through my Patreon linked below.